Well, guys, do you remember that villager who went missing in the last episode? That white-robed librarian? He decided to escape his clutches in the house. And he actually went into the nether. A lot of you guys were suggesting for me to go and look in the nether. And yes, he was there. There was also a green nitwit villager there as well. But, you know, nitwits, I'm not too fussed about them. But uh, whatever the case may be, my friends, we have ourselves the white-robed villager. He is in this house somewhere. Uh, oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. So, yeah, this one is the one that had infinity on. So, I would have been really quite... Oh, gosh darn it. I would have been a little bit sad if I actually lost him. Because infinity is a dang good enchantment. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Survival Series. My name is Python, and this is the 19th episode. Now, guys, today, Fanart comes from a user by the name of Luke Zamet. And he decided to do a sketch of my Minecraft Creeper skin... Pretty nice. I'm liking the background on that. I'm really liking the style that you've got going on there. It's Minecraft, but it's like really vividly coloured. I, I really do love that blue background. There's just something about that that sort of tickles my fancy. You know what I'm saying? So thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. Now guys, fan art email, if you would like to send in your fan art, is on screen alongside Twitter. Obviously you can send it in through Twitter if you so wish. And uh, yeah, you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Now guys, if you're still excited for the series, be sure to hit that like rating, my friends. It would be super appreciated. It shows me that you guys are still hyped for the series and you want to continue showing your love and seeing more. Now, guys, today we have got ourselves a rather cool sub-project that I would like to go ahead and do. And it was actually something that was suggested by you guys. In particular, it was a guy by the name of Dr. Devious. He went ahead and said, you should add some canals to your village, which I thought was a really, really dang cool idea. You know, I don't think I've ever actually made any canals before. I think the only kind of canal that I've ever really helped with was probably back on the old Kingdom Craft server. That was a long, long time ago, folks. A long time ago. So... Here is the plan, okay? We've got this space here, and there's not a great deal of stuff going on, is there, huh? So I would rather like to get a canal running through here, and the idea is it's going to come out of somewhere in here, okay? It's going to come out of somewhere in here. Maybe that cobblestone right there, we can maybe make it link up to that, the canal, and then we can have like a waterfall kind of deal happening here, you know? I honestly think... A canal slash waterfall will spruce this place up really, really nicely. Now, obviously, there's a lot of terraforming I still need to do here. Obviously, I don't like the fact that there are some, like, hanging off bits here. There's, like, an overhang for where the path is. We need to get a whole bunch of stone, okay? Basically, what I need to do in between episodes at some point is just do a huge resource gathering spree. I need to still do some AFK fishing to get some name tags for the pig and also the parrot. And we also need to go ahead and just get ourselves some resources in general. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, resource gathering at some point, but I'm going to try not to do that in an episode because it's not the most interesting thing to watch. So, we are going to go ahead and start off by marking out or digging out where the canal is going to go. I'm not entirely sure that I'm wanting to make it too wide in, uh, in all honesty. Like, I think it will just be like a two block wide kind of deal, you know? Oh, man. I don't know. I imagine it can go through here quite nicely, actually. So, maybe what we do is start digging this out. In fact, if I remember correctly, there's a villager back here. Oh, he's the farmer. Ooh. Okay. I do not want to lose him. Losing farmers is like losing a child. You, you can't do it, man. You can't lose a farmer freaking villager, man. They're like the best villagers you can get. Like, for real. Oh, man. Alrighty. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and try and mark out where this uh, canal is going to go. I'm thinking, like, somewhere, like, here. So, what we need to do is dig this out like this. Okay, so this is where the water would go. The water would resultantly go underneath this and then would wind up out here. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Uh... Yeah, that's looking kind of decent. Here we go, folks. I just about managed to get this villager in. So here we go. Should be able to just push him along. Right? All the way up the hill. Come on, buddy. Come on. I do have the manpower. I can do this. I can do this. I've got faith. I've got faith. All right, go on, go on. Up you go. Up you go. Up you go. All the way to the top. And then you're going to drop in on your friends. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That is how you transport villagers without any hassle. <laughs> 
There we go, folks, we've got a little bit of a progress update for you guys, and as you can see, we are just in the process of adding in some more of these little fence design things. We've got this little two wide thing here because, well, it's only two blocks wide, huh? But uh, yeah, this is the progress I've made so far. I've got some grass growing here now. I've gone ahead and uh, done a bunch of renovations. We're going to have like a mini waterfall going on here, so it actually goes under the bridge here, and then it's going to go out, out of the spout, and then down into the water. It is going to look fantastic, man. It's going to be awesome, my friends. I really do hope you guys enjoy it once I do uh, get it complete, obviously. So, uh, yeah, man. This is going to be so sweet. Right, in the meantime, I just need to go ahead and uh, do a little bit more terraforming, a bit more flattening out, all that kind of good stuff. You know how it is. It's all about the details. Right. So... This is going to be the level of which the water goes on. So if we just do a bit of a test run here, that's going to go all the way down there. And that's going to go all the way off the edge. Okay, fantastic. That is exactly the intended effect. Right. Now then, because of the water, let me just go grab this one as well. So for some reason, they don't flow this way. So that's totally fine. So that's now going off the edge, which is absolutely brilliant. But now what we need to do is we need to try and uh, add in some little dirt bits beside this. I think that would look kind of cool because then we could have some like little decorative sugar cane. All that kind of stuff, you know. I think that would be kind of awesome. Right, a uh, little bit of dirt. And then a little bit of dirt. Yes. Alright, cool. So we want to have this uh, little canal sort of meander all over the place as well. We don't want it to be just a big old boring straight thing. We want to make it a little bit more interesting, give it a bit of character, all that kind of stuff. You know how it is with building. You need to make things just a little bit interesting so it pops out, stands out, all that kind of stuff. So there we go. So maybe perhaps we have a little bit of an S-bend going on. Um, okay. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, that, was a, that was a ghost track, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know that could even be a thing. I only thought that happened with blocks and not uh, and not items a lot, rather like that. Okay, so let's continue on with this thing. So there we go. Looking good so far. Now, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Do I want this uh, Do I want this canal to be flowing or do I want it to be stationary? Okay, this is a big question because if we mess it up, then we mess it up big time. Hmm. I don't know, man. I kind of like the idea of having it flowing. Then we can have, like, some sort of central source somewhere. And then that source can sprout off other canals, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think that would be a cool idea to have, like, other things going on. Like, for example, wait, is there any, like, space over here? Like, we could have a stream coming off here and then going down into that pond down there, you know? Ooh. That could be kind of awesome, man. That could actually be kind of awesome. We could have like a full-on canal system going through this entire village slash town project. Ooh. Oh, man. I'm making myself excited with all these epic plans I'm coming up with, man. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, I need to make a project chest real quick because my inventory is uh, fairly rammed. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this, folks. And, well, I'm thinking I might go ahead and go ahead with that idea of, you know, getting some other canals going on as well, you know? So let me go ahead and uh, place this down here. We're going to put down some random things. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with a progress update. Hopefully very shortly, folks. All right, guys. So here we are. I've made a bunch of progress regarding this canal system. And I think we're just about ready to give this thing a bit of a test go. Now, as you can see, we have ourselves another spout coming over here. And because this pathway is actually lower in altitude than this one, I've had to make a little bit of an adjustment as to how the water flow is going to go. As you can see, it goes down two blocks very gradually as you can see also got myself a bunch of grass growing around the edge here and at this point what i want to do is just give this a go basically so let's go ahead and give this thing a good shot so let's get you in there let's try and get as many of these infinite water sources as we can okay so maybe we'll put one there as well and yep there we go so that's now going ahead and flowing over there right so what's going on around here it doesn't seem to be flowing Hmm. Hold on a minute. So if I put one here? No. For some reason, it's not flowing to over here. That is interesting and also a little bit concerning. Okay, so my water flow isn't so great so far. So I came up with a bit of a solution regarding whether it should be flowing or not in that, well, we're just going to leave it not flowing here. And then when it comes to altitude changes, we'll just leave it flowing. I feel like that's a, a good way to go about it. So here we go. Let's continue on. And yeah, this thing should hopefully look really awesome once it's done. Okay, so there we go. I think I think that water flow starting there is pretty good. So that's now going out of there. So let's have a bit of a look at that. Yeah, look at that. 
That's awesome. <laughs> that is sweet, dudes. Okay, so that's that one done. Let's have a look at this one over here. Right, we really need to try and identify what's going on here. Is that going to... No. No matter what I do, I don't think it's going to wind up doing that. So maybe what I do as a bit of a workaround. Can we, like, do this or something? Is that going to go around the side? No? How about this? Nope. Hmm. And let me do it if it does that. Dang it. All right, we're going to need to come up with some sort of uh, other solution then. In fact, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can keep that there. And then it goes around that corner there. But then there's no water going there. Oh, man. Water. It's such a it's such a pain to work with in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Alrighty, so let's maybe get you in there, you in there. And then... Yeah, that actually works quite nicely, huh? Okay, so I need myself some more water real quick, just so we can, like, solidify some of this. Uh, hmm. Right, a little bit of dirt here, perhaps? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe let's get a little bit more. Let's maybe have another source block there. We'll get one more. Put another source block here. And now that's flowing pretty much perfectly now to how I want it. So, yeah. That's actually worked really, really well. We've got two proper canal streams going now. They look pretty darn awesome. And I am happy with how they are looking. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got a little bit there just to put some sugar canes and whatnot on. So again, let's have a bit of a look at this one from down here. Uh, yeah, looking good, boys. Looking good indeed. Once again, terraforming needs to be done under here as well. But that's going to be something for another episode, my friends. But for now, I think what might be a cool idea is if we were to go ahead and uh, start decorating this thing. Uh, a project to do in another episode is to make a bit of a source. I'm thinking maybe a fountain that maybe like just leads out to this. Like, have a fountain, and then, like, on the underside, there's maybe, like, a cracked leak or something. And then that sort of turns into a stream, and then the water flows out of here, like so. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think we should do as a source of these streams or canals? I want to do it here. This is a pretty decent space to do it in. But what do you think we should do? Leave your responses in the comments area below. What kind of source? Do you have any, like plans for it or ideas always appreciated some feedback in the uh in the comments area below i can't really, apparently i can't talk that's great good job python you've been doing this uh, whole youtube shenanigans for like well over six years still can't talk <laughs> good job buddy all right so let me go ahead and do the comment question of the video which comes from bs chase maybe put a hay bale below the minecart elevator to reduce fall damage that my friend, is a very, very good idea. Now, one thing, there are some things in Minecraft which I always forget, and hay bales negating fall damage is one of those things that I always forget. Honestly, it's quite bad. Like, I really do forget that that is actually a thing. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, put that comment into action real quick. We do have some crops down here. All we need is nine wheat. Uh, nine wheat, that's eight. That's nine. There we go. Fantastic. Wait, hang on. We only broke seven and we got nine. Wait, is the duplication glitch still there? In the patch notes for 17W14A, it said that was fixed, but I'm not entirely sure that it is now. I'm not convinced. Hmm. Anyways, I digress. Let's get over to the uh, storage room real quick. We'll get this hay bale created and we will see about how much full damage it actually negates. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to put a little bit of a, a tune on for him. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy your dancing while I go ahead and do this. Okay, so we've got a hay bale. We've got the minecart here, which means we can go ahead and replace this block with that. And let's take off the feather falling boots. In fact, does all of it? Does normal armor negate full damage? I have no idea. Right, let's go ahead and eat real quick. Get ourselves up to max health, preferably. That would be awesome. Then we could have like a real world test of this thing. And there we go. Alright, fantastic. So, jump up and ha! Half a heart. Okay. Half a heart. Half a heart. Hmm. Okay. So it seems to be pretty consistent with being half a heart. But one of the things I was thinking of instead of a hay bale is a slime block. Because you just bounce on it, right? You can, like, just stop yourself from taking full damage. It's pretty darn easy, right? Yeah. Seems to be consistently taking half a heart of damage. I'm kind of interested in which case. How much will take if I don't have the hay bale there? Okay, I'm oh, darn it. I'm gonna do that. 
All right, here we go. Jump up and get down. Jump up, jump up and get down. Makes no difference. Oh, I wonder what the actual numerical value of full damage negated the hay bale does. Hmm, I don't know. All right, parrot. Party over. <laughs> We're gonna get on with decorating that stream now, my friends. I think the good, well, I think a good idea would be to get some leaves out. We've got some saplings. Uh, flower pots? Could we maybe utilize some flower pots? Uh, I'm pretty convinced we've got some flower pots somewhere. Or clay. Uh, hmm. Okay, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna organize my inventory. We are going to go ahead, get some stuff ready, and then we are going to decorate the streams. So, yeah, I'll be back in a moment, folks. Alright folks, it is decorating time. Now I'm thinking of starting off with some oak and spruce trees just to start it off with a bit of nature. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. If I can. There we go. There's a little tree right there. That's looking kind of nice. Uh, maybe we can have another one uh, maybe here. Okay. Oh, that's a nice size one. That's pretty darn cool, actually. All right, I do want to have, like, a regular oak tree around here as well. Maybe we can go ahead and uh, get a decently sized one. Uh, oh, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> it's, it's slightly skew if, but it's actually kind of nice. Hey, buddy. Go on, get wrecked. Boom. Go on, buddy. Get out of here. There we go. So, the next thing we have, we've got to solve some brown and green concrete powder. Now, I think we could maybe pepper some of these around and make it look kind of nice. Obviously, we can't plant down sugarcane on it, rather like we've got on our inventory here. But we'll go ahead and plant some down, just as a bit of a start. So, let's get one there, one down there. Uh, maybe, like, I don't know, we can get one over here, one over here. And, you know, just, like I said, just peppering them around, making it look cool. Make sure there's no creepers around. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's maybe get another oak tree in here. I think that'll look kind of nice. There we go, looking good. I don't want to have too many trees, so I think just... Wait, what the hell? I did not hear you for the life of me. What the heck? That's so weird. Huh. Okay. I think that directional sound is a little bit off. Either that or I'm just deaf. But anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, I don't want to be putting too many trees here. I think the four trees that I've got here are actually pretty reasonably, uh, you know, reasonably done. So I think the next thing to try and decorate this thing would be to go ahead and uh, put a little bit of coarse dirt in. Just here and there, just like I said, peppering it about. Seeing if we can't get something looking good that works. Uh, let's have a bit of that, uh, a bit of coarse dirt over here. And the coarse dirt is literally just going next to the water. I, I don't see a reason why it should go, like, anywhere else, really. So, let's just get over this side real quick. Have a bit of you. Maybe we could start putting in some brown concrete pa- Oh, yeah. I can't do that, can I? Gosh darn it, I'm an idiot. Why- why did I even do that? Python is a noob. Python is a silly, silly noob. <laughs> oh, man. For some reason, I thought I'd be able to use concrete powder there, but, uh... Python, Python done forgot that he can't do that. Python done forgot. He's a, he's a goofball. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I out, uh, I astound even myself with how dumb I am. Right, okay. Let's maybe have another one there. Uh, well, in which case, can we, like, maybe pepper some of the brown concrete powder around the edge here like that? Yeah. You know what? That actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe we, we could, like, just randomly dot it around the place. Like, not actually on the water, but, like, near it. Yeah. Kind of liking this. Okay, so let's get another one in there. Let's maybe get another one here. And maybe, like, one back here behind the tree. Yeah. Again, just, like, lightly peppering it around. There's, like, no real pattern to it or anything like that. Although there is a zombie now coming along. Hey, buddy. You want to get wrecked? Yes, you do. Get off me, brother. Uh, we've got a nice amount of space around here. I was thinking of maybe putting just a little fountain in here. Or am I, like, overdoing it with the water now, do you think? I don't know. Let's have a quick look. So, it's going to be as simple as what I'm doing right here. Nothing fancy by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, looking good. Right, now if I manage to get some grass to grow in here, I honestly think this is going to look really, really awesome. So, what I'm going to use... I'm going to use my Silk Touch pick, okay? I'm going to pick up some grass. We're going to try and fill this place in with grass. And then we're going to bone meal the grass, making, you know, long grass grow. And then I really do think that that will just about do it in terms of the stream here. So, yeah. Give me a sec, guys. Let me go get some resources. And I'll be back for the final progress update in a sec. 
Here we go, folks. A little bit more progress has been made with this thing. As you can see, we've got some jungle leaves in here now. Just, again, just to add a bit of greenery. And now, like I said before, we have ourselves some bone meal. We've got ourselves some grass now. So let's go ahead and uh, just bone meal this up, I guess. Let's just go ahead and uh, run around this place. Just put some bone meal down. Uh, hmm. I'm going to figure out what I want to do with this place here. Maybe I could do something. Oh, maybe like a mini staircase building or something? I don't know. But anyways, uh, let's continue on around here. Once again, just a little bit of bone meal here and there. Maybe make some of it double tall. That would be pretty nice. And then all we're going to do is just go around the edge here with a little bit of bone meal. And, well, this is how you pretty much finish up any build, really. <laughs> so, yeah. Here we go. Let's get this in here. This in here. This in here. And there we go. Guys, is this not one of the coolest looking little streams you've seen, man? Come on, man. This looks awesome. I love it. Maybe I'm tooting my own horn. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I love this place. I really do. I think it looks amazing. Right, like I said, I want to have a little bit more double tall grass. So maybe one there, maybe one there, and another one in a random place. I don't know, maybe here. Yeah. Looks kind of nice, huh? Once again, some suggestions regarding a source of this stream would be appreciated. But anyways, guys, I think on that note, it's going to be time to end this particular episode right here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this episode and you are excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating to show your love for this series, my friends. It would be super appreciated. And hit that subscribe button as well if you do not want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to head off. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.